Hello and welcome to my ClickFunnels vs. Lead Pages video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over obviously these two softwares, uh, ClickFunnels and of course Lead Pages. So I've used Lead Pages a few times and eventually I canceled them and then I moved on to ClickFunnels and I've been with them with at least uh, three years. So obviously I'm going to recommend them. So I'm going to be comparing the ClickFunnels $97 a month with the Lead Pages $79 a month uh, billing. And so both of them actually come with a free 14 day trial. I'll put the link down the ClickFunnels since I recommend them the most and I do believe that they are better uh, in case you want to actually test them out, which I do highly recommend. Okay, so they actually come with unlimited pages, traffic, and leads. This is actually uh, pretty nifty, and of course, their standard one comes with that too, because when it comes to ClickFunnels, you would have to actually get the, uh, the bigger version to get unlimited with that. However, it's not going to be that big of a deal having 20 pages, uh, excuse me, having 20 funnels, 100 pages, and 20,000 visitors monthly, which does roll over. Uh, you're probably not going to go over. I mean, you might, depending on how much volume you're doing, like if you're doing a massive launch, but uh, then you'd probably be using the upgraded one. So there is some kind of difference there. If you feel like you're just going to be sending, you know, millions of clicks, uh, then that's probably going to be uh, a benefit for you. Okay. Unlimited pop-up bars. Uh, ClickFunnels does have something similar to this called Click Pops. Uh, so that's just standard. They have as many as you want. Uh, limited alert bars. This is actually something newer that comes along with lead pages where if you go to the top, a bar will come down. This is something you see a lot with websites and like WordPress. So I guess you could say they have the upper hand when it comes to that as well. You can connect three domains in this one when it comes to ClickFunnels. Uh, yes, you can connect three as well. Uh, moving on, 40 plus standard integrations. Uh, there's a ton of integrations for both of those. I'm not going to compare and contrast that. Uh, Facebook and Instagram ad builder uh, tech support. They both have support. Uh, weekly group coaching. Uh, there's Facebook groups for ClickFunnels. I know they have an absolute massive amount of people in it. Uh, so you can always get help in that. And of course, they do have their support. Online sales and payments. This is a pretty big one because it's only this plan that comes along with it. Uh, and this is kind of going into the ClickFunnels territory. It's not like they're the first ones to ever do it, but ClickFunnels does it amazingly. Uh, not only with Stripe, but with PayPal and a few others. They also do uh, order bumps with their uh, shopping carts. They do one-click upsells. They do one-click downsells. Uh, they do webinars and all the other different types of funnels. Okay, unlimited A-B split testing. Both of these actually have that. Email trigger links. I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, so I'll just pass up on that one. 10 opt-in text campaigns and special discounts with partner companies, which is kind of like an added on bonus. So if you're going to compare 97 to 79, a little around 20 bucks difference. Not the biggest deal when you're looking to build an online business. But from my perspective, uh, you would use lead pages if you were just looking to collect, you know, opt-ins and leads and maybe sell like a product here or there. Because they do, like I said, have their whereas online sales and payments where it says make sales and deliver digital products from any landing page or pop-up with lead pages checkouts uh, powered by Stripe, which just kind of doesn't compete with ClickFunnels. They have a whole lot going on for them, not only in terms of their templates, but with the checkout pages, the two steps, uh, and how much you can edit it and add in different integrations, not just with Stripe and PayPal, but a few others as well. There's a whole lot going on for them, especially the order bumps and the one-click upsells and downsells. Those features right there will make you way more money uh, than the difference it's going to cost you if you were choosing ClickFunnels over lead pages. So that's kind of the scenario where I would recommend lead pages, where maybe you just wanted to do a few opt-ins, collect leads, then maybe like the $37 a month would be good for you. However, if you are planning on doing much more than that when you're creating every type of funnel uh, and you want those advanced features when it comes to shopping carts, one-click upsells, downsells, memberships, webinars, on uh, every other type of funnel, I do believe ClickFunnels does that the best and paying a little bit more just to get the $97 a month plan isn't going to be that big of a deal when you consider the amount of features they have which I'm not going to go completely over there's a lot of them uh, but that's just my opinion because I've used both I currently use ClickFunnels and I kind of made the change and when you do go to ClickFunnels a lot of the times you can actually get rid of a lot of different things because they have so many features uh, that you won't need any other third-party softwares when it comes to specific ones like split testing or webinars or whatever it may be. Okay, so I hope that helped you out. Uh, if you're looking to get started with ClickFunnels and that sounds kind of attractive to you or that kind of fits your needs, feel free to click the link down below. You get a free trial for 14 days and you can actually test it out yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your software regardless of which one you pick.